There is a video circulating on social media of an American doctor testifying in European Parliament. I will not dignify it by mentioning the name of the doctor or providing the link to the video. If you have not seen that video, there is no reason for you to watch my video. You can stop here and go do something else that is fun. I take back my words about dignifying. We have to treat each other with dignity. The people who oppose vaccines have very legitimate questions and valid concerns. Vaccine mandates were wrong. Making people show vaccination proof before they can eat in a restaurant or travel and making them feel like outcasts was completely wrong. People supporting vaccines were out of line and they should apologize. When the pandemic first started, we were hoping for a 50% effective vaccine, like the flu vaccine. When you take the flu vaccine, there's a 50% chance, a coin toss chance, that if you come in contact with a flu patient, you will develop the disease. But it continues to protect you against serious disease. Three months into the pandemic, we knew what was going to happen when Oxford Covishield AstraZeneca trial on the monkeys showed that the monkeys were contracting COVID, but were not developing pneumonia. But when Pfizer, Moderna, mRNA vaccine results came, exceeding the expectations with 95% efficacy, we got tempted thinking that we will be able to end this pandemic in few months by cutting transmission and even preventing mild disease. A year into the pandemic, uh, with the new variants starting to emerge, the ground reality was totally different, but the people supporting vaccines did not have the intelligence or the guts to come clean and state the facts clearly. Some of the, could we have come out of this pandemic without the vaccines? Yes. Could we be here where we are now without the vaccines? Yes. But taking example of India, we would be one crore less Indians with us. The Delta was creating the second wave, remember, in April 2021. It was also killing some normal immune competent people. Part of the problem was Delta. Part of the problem was the people. It's human nature. People who did not need oxygen were catching the hospital beds, thinking that they will not get the bed if bed is needed or if oxygen is needed, and denying oxygen and hospital bed to people who were needing it. If there were no vaccines, the situation would have been thousand times worse. There would have been complete anarchy, breakdown of law and order. People would have literally, there would be looting. People would have died in the, you cannot imagine the horror that would have befallen us without the vaccine. Some of the points that the video makes is it quote like a lot of peer reviewed papers, 300 papers, 3000 papers. Peer reviewed papers is a joke now. All that you need to get a peer-reviewed paper published is $500 and a stable internet connection. It also claims that 75% of the world has taken vaccine and 75% of the deaths are happening because of the vaccines. By that logic, 50% of the world should be dead by now, right? Wherever you go, there is no traffic. Then it claims that it's a big conspiracy. If it is a conspiracy, how do you know about it? And if it is not a conspiracy, if everybody is in it, how is that a conspiracy? Suppose there are 100 people on the board and 99 people come together and decide to do something. The 100 person cannot claim that it is a conspiracy because it's the 99 people constitute the majority. It also said that the virus may have come out of the lab. It is true that there was a lab right next to the Wuhan market where some research was going on on the COVID virus. But whether the virus emerged from the lab or it emerged from the market, the future will show that the people responsible for it were incompetent, not inhuman or immoral. It was just a mistake and it got out of control. I will say this to people who support, uh, people who oppose the vaccines. You have not taken the vaccine, right? Okay, you exercise your right. Fine. Now, 75% of the people who have taken the vaccine, are you able to go into their body and extract the vaccine? No. Now, people keep claiming that till we had the vaccines, we had never seen so many clots and heart disease, which is true. Absolutely true. But like the vaccines were new, was something else new, so new that we started calling the novel virus, 
the corona most of the problems are related to the virus not to the vaccine some side effects were there but when you populate when you vac- vaccinate such a big population some things which would have happened by chance happen anyway so what i'm saying to the people opposing vaccines is if you are not taking the vaccine it's like similar to mask the people who like mask are more interested in making other people wear it so vaccine opponent peoples 75% of the world has taken it and they are feeling like a little jittery about it and there is nothing you can do about it can you please stop talking can you just go away for like few few minutes few months few weeks just stop talking about it constantly vaccine is doing this that you have not taken it na theek hai chalo and to the people who are supporting the vaccines i would say that that you are not as smart or as intelligent and you make out to be to so, so get away with all that smugness and know it all just be like more humble now the current vaccines are not even 5 to 10% effective but they protect against serious disease and they so concede the ground reality and start talking nicely to other party and try and understand them because this video is also calling for cutting funding to the world health organization united states pays 25% of the funding they say the video claim that who are idiots which is true in a way like I mean, their response to pandemic was idiotic but they do lot of other good work like other things in developing worlds means my fear is if this rant against vaccine covid vaccine ultimately turns into a rant against vaccines itself i don't know what will happen means if the measles pandemic comes in 20 years people will die like flies in developing countries the covid pandemic will sound like a picnic on the beach and death will be a blessed release if kids start getting paralytic polio they will be just laying there not being able to walk they will be on ventilator means i cannot imagine the carnage that will happen if we start stalking against vaccines and start opposing the routine childhood vaccination so i suggest to everybody that with this social media we are entering a pandemic of misinformation all that all of us have to do be nice to each other and apply a filter of common sense to anything that we hear dr ravi godse